Okay. I got lucky and my car, sorry, it's squealies, it's squealies. because my car wasn't covered in snow, thank God. Let me take the clip out of my hair. I'm trying to remember that though. I gotta go into work early again today because of activities I'm doing. So it's like 11.15 instead of like 12.15. But I came down extra early because I was like, oh man, I got to get the snow off my car. We got like two inches or maybe three, two and a half inches last night, which this is like typical February weather for Chicago. The beautiful weather we were having before in the 50s was not. <laughs> So that's making me really worried because normally when we uh, have a mild winter, we have a really hot summer that sucks. And to be quite frank, I would rather be in the cold than the heat. It's a lot easier to warm up from being cold than it is to cool down from being hot. I hate it. I hate being all sticky and sweaty and gross. So yeah, so Abby has got gymnastics today. I don't know, there's nothing really going on. This weekend we're going to really focus on getting organized in the house. We're working on Abby's room. Come on, truck, get it together. Oh my God, you're totally clearing it. Stop being a poon tank. Motherfucker. Whatever, I got time. Why am I getting all pissed? Calm down, Manny. I meditated today for like 40 minutes. It was nice. I was trying to do something else, but somebody's lazy ass. Um... Yeah, so this weekend we're going to focus on the house, trying to get it together. My sister-in-law is taking the kids climbing tomorrow, but that's while I'm at work. So when I get home from work, uh, what I was saying, I'm sorry guys, I have a terrible train of thought when I'm talking, like I bounce around constantly. What I was saying was is that I've been really trying to focus and crack down on Abby's room. The other day when she stayed home from school because she was sick, her and I got, we decluttered a lot of stuff that she didn't want anymore. And we're trying to get her desk that's connected to her bed as her sewing area. Then she's got like three gold display shelves where she keeps like knickknacks and crap. And then she's got three bookcases that we got from my mother-in-law. That's like her storage. So it has like toys, her sewing supplies, her craft supplies, and then like displaying other things like her fancy display dolls. And um, you know, she's got a clock up there. Her art, she's got a lot of... Uh, canvases up there so yeah so we're trying to get that bookcase decluttered and get it to where it looks normal <laughs> just get it to where it looks like it's decorative not just like um shit crammed up there stuff crammed up there so she decluttered a bunch of stuff where st she still has to do more like it's intense she is very like sentimental but also lazy when it comes to like cleaning up her like she's not a lazy kid get, don't get me wrong like that kid will do gymnastics three days a week do volleyball two days a week do piano do vocal lessons like she's on point but when it comes to things that she's not interested in and doesn't like then she's lazy so she is not interested in uh, organizing and she does not like cleaning her room. So it looks like a damn travesty all the time. She loves pulling crap out and doing her projects. It's putting the stuff back where she uh, struggles. 
so I'm trying I I can't I saw it on YouTube I think it was Gia for marriage and motherhood where she said no who was it I don't know one of my mom's vlogs that I watch uh, they said organize around your habits so I was like oh my god that's what I got to do with Abby because she has a, she's developed her habits and I've been trying to break her of them and I'm going about it the wrong way. I need to organize around her habits. So she just throws her shoes everywhere. So I got a crate and I'm like, hey man, put your shoes in here. Like around the area where she throws her damn shoes and she has halfway been keeping up with it. Where she's this is the, the shoes thing is complicated because everybody comes in my back door. There is literally no space to like make a full mudroom area type thing. So, um, it's it's not working. It blocks the door. It blocks the cabinet doors. There's like a little sliver of wall by the fridge, and then there's the door. And I was like, well, maybe I can hang some command hooks on the back of the door and they can just hang their coats and jackets on the back of the door but then there's the shoe problem that's what's driving crash or nuts it's the shoes because they just throw them there and then there's just like a clutter of shoes at my back door and I've tried watching every like video of like how to make a faux mud area or a faux coat closet type thing and nothing will work for my space like I'll show it to you I'm sure I've showed it in other videos um but yeah, she definitely, um, the shoes are a struggle. Yes, of course, just walk into the street without looking because cars don't go there. Um, so yeah, so the shoes is complicated. Her coat, though, she's been hanging it up on her. I put a command hook, or she has a couple of command hooks on her bedroom door. So she's just been hanging it on a command hook. She's been keeping up with that. The backpack's the situation. She just throws it around everywhere. And she's trying to keep it in my room. And I'm sorry. No, off limits. Sorry. You got your own room. You took over the living room. That's my space. But when it comes to... Like I was talking to her the other day when we were working on her room before I had to go to work. I was all like, um, where do you do, where in this room do you mostly do like your craft projects? And she was like, right here. She was like, it's a bad habit because it's like literally right behind her bedroom door. But she's like, but this is where I do it. And I'm like, all right, we're going to put all your crafts there because we're trying to get it to where she can display her shoes on the shelves like the bottom shelves of her bookcases that I was talking about so I'm hoping if I can do that then she it will make her be like oh I like seeing my shoes like this because she's a shoe gal she's an accessory gal all right she's not big on jewelry but purses shoes muffs scarves hats she loves them all she is a girly girl makeup. I don't know why jewelry is her thing that she's just like mad about. You would think she likes sparkly things. You would think like, oh yeah, jewelry, but no. I'm trying to get her some like nice, good quality, real jewelry, like, you know, gemstones, gold, silver, um, jewelry. Maybe she'll get into it then. I'm, I'm worried about it though because she loses jewelry a lot. So... Um, so yeah, so my plan that tomorrow when I get off of work is just hitting her room hard. I asked her if we can film it and she said yes. So, and again, we're already like, with Abby's room, I am constantly trying to figure out a way to where she can keep it clean and keep the floors clean. And honestly, it's not all her fault because we had to move the rabbits into her room because... Uh, when my mom and my sister came and stayed with me, my sister brought her little cat Ninos, and he's the best. Um, but he's a cat, cat kind of cat. So we 
put the rabbits in Abby's bedroom because she had room for their uh, their hutch and their little gate play area for them to get out of their hutch. And um, the door closes, so Nino couldn't go in Abby's room to get at the rabbits. So, so. Uh, the rabbits are in her room, so she lost like a quarter or a third of her valuable, available space to do her things. She wants to keep the rabbits in her room. They smell like awful. Um, and we stay on cleaning up their area and their litter box because she's like, they stink. Which, I don't blame her. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, this is wet. I gotta dry that bad boy. Um, so yeah, so Saturday, this is the plan. I don't always stick to my plan. Sometimes I get too tired and fall out. Uh, oh no, I forgot to take my medicine. Ah! Anyways. Back to the plan. <laughs> you guys must hate talk, listening to me talk. We're going to, if I stick with my plan, we're going to do it. Get as much as Abby's room. I'm not going to say we're going to complete it, all right? My, in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah, we're going to get it done. But I got to work with Abby at her pace, okay? And it's slow. Because she sits there forever and thinks about every little thing that she touches. She is, like, that kid is her dad. She's just her dad, okay? Like, I'm, I'm sure I've told this story before, but Crasher will, like... We go through his t-shirt drawer, it's like a half a day ordeal. Because he's got to sit there and tell me fucking five stories behind every t-shirt. And then tell me why he hates the t-shirt, but he's got to keep it anyways. So he'll get rid of this t-shirt that he loves. And I'm like, what the hell? It's ridiculous. And she's like that. Like, when we were going through her... Whenever we got rid of the stuff we were going, I just told her, I was like, look around. Tell me what you want to get rid of. And she's like, I want to get rid of the aerial statue, the dress form and a couple other things. I'm like, all right, good. We got rid of stuff. And then I'm like, let's do this. And she's like, oh, well, I do this and that, and I want to keep that because of this person. And I'm like, okay, are you keeping it because you feel bad about getting rid of it? Or are you keeping it because you love it? And then it's like, I feel bad. And I'm like, okay, well, forget that noise. So then we got rid of more stuff. And then, she, then we go to the stage of Forever Land where she's all like, oh, I don't know. Like, I may use it one day. I got this from here and it means this to me and I'm like does it spark joy and she's like yes and then we move on and then I'm like okay like I try to keep her focused but she trails off she you know everybody's like that now <laughs> um so yeah so Saturday I hope we get her room done it's probably not going to happen but get as much progress done in her room as possible then Sunday I want to work on the desk. I feel like if Crasher and I spend the morning before he leaves for the day cleaning out the desk with the main thing I need his help with is the filing system. So we're going to do the filing system and then I can do everything else while he's at work or out. Um, so yeah. So that's the plan. I feel like I've rambled on enough and I want to relax and listen to music now. So I will talk to you all later and I hope you have the most beautiful day today. And if it's not, I hope it gets better. Bye guys.